have an alien baby. And I thought I wasn't gonna get weird in this. That's a lie. I've been weird since day one. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Kelsey, I'm single, and we thought it would be funny if I tried the 100 baby challenge. It's a challenge in The Sims 4 where you have one matriarch and they are supposed to have 100 children, all with different parents. If you are interested in the challenge, doing it yourself at home, or just want to, you know, make sure that I'm following the rules, the link for the rules will be below. Last week, uh, we've struggled and suffered through yet another batch of young children. Raising an alien child, are we equipped? Are we ready for this? Obviously not. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, baby. Okay, welcome back into the Abitra Schmidt household. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Oh, wow. Look, we came upon our house. Chelsea's flirty and the rest of the family is angry or sad. What's new? All right, Chelsea, back, back at home with nothing but toddlers and children. She's going to teach our little uh, baby Theo, our little redheaded darling. Wow. Is this not typical or is this not typical? Crying baby, everyone's having a bad day. If I put up these walls, will I not hear the baby anymore? It, this is great. I'll just go like this. We don't want to hear the baby too much. This is a weird new view of this moment. How many, we have two, four, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we need to get our kids aged out so she can have more babies. I don't think she really has any new suitors that she's really hyped about. All right, let's put these walls down so it's not as sad. Okay, he needs fun. Don't worry about a thing. You know what you could do instead of fun? You could potty more. Ah, what a lovely day. Raising kids, as usual, smelling garden salads. Wow, Willow's happy, happy clam here. Ellie, are you ready to age up yet? Oh, you're a C student? Ah, frack. Oh, you need more social time. No, you're fine. You just go to sleep. Why are you angry? Because you're staring at that sibling. You're like, you're trouble, Bran. Okay, yeah, Tristan, go, Tristan, go, Tristan, go. Go, Tristan, go, Tristan. Oh my gosh, we're supposed to age up Tristan today anyway. Shoot. We're just gonna make Tristan go potty until Tristan becomes a kid, because that's how this works sometimes. Oh, it's Sunday? They can't even go to school yet. Uh. Ah, I guess it's just gonna be like making everything better today. Good job, you did it. Now keep doing it until you're done. Wow, the amount of time I've spent sitting watching toddlers potty is just honestly shocking. Oh wait, what? Chelsea's playing with our children. You're okay, you're okay my boy. You're okay, we want you to age up today so you can be a kid just like your siblings. Why is everyone crying? Don't be crying. My children. Dorian, Ginny needs your needs your attention right now. No, oh, good siblings. Oh, she loves it. Chelsea's feeling great. Woohoo! Woo good job, Chelsea. Oh no! She's not making that much money anymore. Woo! But we hit 100 k $100,000! Oh my goodness! That is amazing! Oh. Okay, let's go to the flea market with Jamie. Why not? What else could we possibly be doing better with our time? Not aging up our toddlers, no, no. You know mom needs a break, okay? Mom needs a break. Chelsea, maybe change your outfit. Not into nude. Nice like summer vibe, I love, okay. Although it's fall, okay, never mind. Let's change it. I forgot that it's not summer where you are, Chelsea. There's Jamie, let's play together. Shoot around together. Oh my gosh, Chelsea, go play with your son. He's like telling her about his life and what he's been up to. They're both terrible at basketball. Look at them go. All right, why don't you guys watch the performer together? Addie's called us to say congratulations on the new addition to the family. If you only knew, Addie. You only knew. Aw, they're having a great jam sesh. But who is this guy? Hello, Chance! Wow, look at his little, like, his little beauty mark. Chelsea, go introduce her. No, 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 this is your chance. Is he into it? He was feeling it! Get it, Chelsea! Dag, dag, ha, ha, ha. Be like, wow, it's like, what's it like, you know, being a small business owner? That's so interesting. She's like talking about puppetry. Whatever works for you, girl. Oh, this is her te teasing him flirtatiously. 
<gasps> did it not work? Oh no, it didn't work. Oh no, it's awkward. What are you doing out here, Jamie? Jamie got bored, but Chelsea closed this out. He seems like kind of interested. I think he was just like a little nervous when she first kind of came on a little strong. But now I think he doesn't mind a good flirt moment. Maybe she should exchange numbers before she heads out. Oh yeah, he's down for the flirt. Is he gonna take it? Yeah, buddy, he is down. A flirty kiss. Oh, first kiss. Get in there, Chelsea. What, what, what? Okay, what? Okay, you know what? Let's go home, Chelsea. You had a good time with your with your son. You sh shot some hoops, listened to some music, and then flirted with a guy, as usual. It's about, it's pretty standard for a day out with a, with a child. <laughs> what a successful outing. We met a new friend. I love watching Chelsea work her magic. She's an artist. Okay, Chelsea, back at the baby factory. Let's go to sleep. He's hungry. Oh no. Okay, let's go kitties. Oh, look at him toddling, grabbing a bowl, heading out. Tristan, what do you need? You just need potty. We're getting very close to aging up our, our toddles here. Tristan just walked in on Dorian on the toilet. And they're both going potty together. <laughs> Come on, my little bean. You're almost there. I know you're miserable. You'll be happy when you're a, a child. You'll be so much happier. Yeah! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Tristan is a level three potty. Let's age Tristan up. I know that Tristan's brother is not quite ready to go, but honestly, whatever. Help blow out candles with Tristan. Tristan, it's your birthday. Happy birthday, Tristan. I can't wait to see what Tristan looks like as a kid. <gasps> Our first ginger kid. Oh, well, through the table, as usual. Okay, Tristan aged up. Pick a number one through four. The answer is one. One, so Tristan's gonna be a creative lad. Pick a number one through 30. It's one. One again, so he's active and creative. Aw, Tristan! Good job. Tristan is sad because he needs some fun, but that's okay. Why don't you grab a garden salad and watch some TV? And then you're gonna do your homework because you're officially a kid. What about Theo? Theo's like almost there. Oh, Chelsea fell asleep. Sometimes it's hard, you know, being a, a mom without any teens. But oh my gosh, look at Tristan. He's got like a little shaggy hair vibe. Really rocking that Ronald Weasley a la fourth year mood. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, the baby's up. All right, Chelsea, efficiently care for your BB. Sleep. I wish there was like a power sleep that she could sleep really fast and get a ton of sleep but in a short amount of time. And if that's available, can I also have that too? <laughs> Can't stop till you won't stop. Potty time, excellent, let's go. Potty till you make it. Your queue is full of potty. He's getting close though. Come on, come on my bud. I know you're tired and unhygienic. It's okay, it's okay Theo, it's okay. Oh, he's so sad and miserable. He's been pottying for hours. Boom! Yay! Let's go! Okay, gonna put a cake out. Oh no! Theo fell asleep. I'm a bad mom. I made Theo potty until he passed out. But look how cute he looks. Okay, Chelsea though, you gotta help blow out candles. No time for phone calls. Who is it? Craig? <gasps> I'm calling to tell you that Craig Slater has passed away. I thought you might want to know. Oh my God, Theo just aged up without us. Okay, let's pick an aspiration. Pick a number one through four. It's one. Creative, just like his brother. Pick a number one through 30. The answer is 11. Nine, 10, 11, a perfectionist. He's cute too. I like don't even know how to function right now. The love of Chelsea's life just passed away. And now our children are making a mess. Um, excuse you. You know what? I'm gonna discipline really strictly. I'm gonna yell at him. I think Chelsea's in a mood. Bad boy, Theo. You know what? And you're gonna clean that up, mister. No, you're not gonna go to bed. You're gonna go to school tired. You know why? Because. You're a bad boy. All right, bye kids. Have a fun day at school. Study hard. Oh, I guess you don't go to school yet. The twins aren't going to school today. That's interesting. I didn't know that that was a thing. Did you just make that for yourself? You didn't even make a family meal? You trash parent. Oh, and she's not making a ton of money right now. Okay, well we need to get life back on track. We need to get her going. Take care of your baby. Come on, Chelsea. Just do the regular things. I can't believe she just made a salad or a spaghetti for herself, but it's fine. Why don't you write a screenplay? The name of our screenplay is 
Love After Life. And it's about a woman loses her soulmate, but mm, a woman becomes a medium to reunite <laughs> with her former flame. Yeah, that feels right. That feels right. <laughs> Ginny and Willow both are communication level three just from talking to each other. So cute. Oh my goodness, communication queens. <laughs> They're so cute. You know what's kind of bugging me is honestly like, maybe this is just me being sassy, but I honestly don't think Chelsea's sad enough. Chelsea was super sad about all the other dads that were dying off. And for some reason, she's been fine. I mean, like, I'm happy for her. I'm glad that she feels fine. But honestly, I'm like a little bit peeved because Craig was really special to us and I feel like we've been kind of had. Dorian has returned home from school and his grades are up. He's a B student. Ellie is also a B student. Okay, good job, Dorian and Ellie. I'm proud of you both. Look at Ellie. Look at this new little outfit I love. <sighs> Another day back from school. So many lol lol kids. There's only one Chelsea and she's exhausted as usual. Ellie's still crushing it over here, trying to be social bean. Yes. I love how she's chatting while she's chatting. She's chatting with her brother in real life and chatting in a kid's chat room. She going to bed? Yeah, good call. You're very sleepy. It was a big long day of getting things done and being a rock star. Tomorrow, mom's gonna teach you how to potty because you're definitely not potty trained yet. Ooh, Chelsea's feeling flirty? Are you serious? I'm just saying that Craig is dead, okay? And Chelsea's just feeling freaking flirty when you like hardcore mourn everybody else. Oh my God, it's Brand's birthday! We're gonna have three toddles. You! Okay, Chelsea, well. <laughs> Everybody's asleep. Okay, Chelsea, go to bed and we'll start another day anew, afresh. Duh! Brand's awake though. Oh, now she's sad. Okay, well now I feel a little guilty for making her feel bad about being sad. Oh, it looks like she's really upset. Okay, now I feel like a bad person for giving her shame about not caring enough. I am so sorry. Where was that song coming from? This is so spooky because this is the exact song that I use as the intro of this video. That was weird. That was weird, but let's just turn this off. All the kids are very busy while Chelsea's sleeping in. I'm happy f that they're like kind of letting her go. Oh, wow, I'm just looking over all of my family doing all this great stuff, keeping busy. Ah, they're all going to school. Study hard, it's the kids' first day. The twins, yay! I hope you grow into great, big, strong uh, sims. Yes, please come back teens, all right. Food fight! Theo started a food fight in the cafeteria, causing most of the students to join in. Sounds like a very Fred and George moment. What a natural leader. You should help clean. Unacceptable. I want to say what a natural leader. That's great. Good job, my boy. Meanwhile, Chelsea can teach Willow how to potty. Just potty training the kids today. It's a full day. Can't stop, won't stop. Potty training forever. Potty train for life. You want to join this potty train? Chugga chugga choo choo, my friends. Oh, everybody's back from school. B, B, C, C. Ugh, okay, so they'll age out tomorrow. How's she doing? She's potty training again with Chelsea. Good job, Chelsea. We you potty train your BBs. Oh yeah, she needs to publish her, her book. Love After Life and get some mail. Good job, Chelsea. She's going on a little run. Apparently she's gonna talk to an alien while she's running, which is interesting. She's feeling happier because she's stronger. The run really helped, yay, I'm so glad. And all was well. Yeah, Bran aged up. Oh, we forgot to age Bran up. <laughs> Pick a number between one and eight. It's seven. Seven, so Bran is wild. Bran's a wild child, what? He's like a blonde? I mean, okay. Bran has no skills. He aged up without his mom being even awake. I think Bran is gonna begin his uh, new career as a toddler by watching videos of toddlers talking. I think he wants to learn language. I think he's he's gonna be interesting. He's quite cute though. Look at this little cute blue kid. Everyone's gonna wake up and be like, wow, what's this toddler doing here? Ellie just woke up crying 
because of a death in the family, apparently Craig from Dream Daddy, so there was two Craigs, Craig Slater and Craig Dream Daddy, and both, apparently Craig Dream Daddy also died recently. That's fantastic. So she and Dorian are both upset because their father recently died. <sighs> oh my gosh, this is so sad. Oh, Bran. Bran might be having some like Bran type of cereal. I don't know, probably not. What, why is, why is Bran naked in the backyard? All the kids are off to school. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see you as a teen. Oh my gosh, study hard my children so that you can all become teens very soon. And then help me around the house because I'm struggling. Chelsea, once you're done with that, or did you not finish cleaning? Sorry. Why don't, when you're done with that, you're gonna potty train D Bran. I don't think Chelsea and Bran have really interacted yet. Okay, Brand seemed mad. Yeah, their friendship uh, really went down there. Wait, what? You're doing it. Brand just got down to get back up because Brand was like, I don't want a potty. Now Brand's mad. What a stubborn kid. She's applauding her child for potty training. Good, good on you, Brand. You know, I hear it's not easy being blue. <laughs> Dabba dee dabba die. Look at all these little girls squealing happily while Brand's just in a grumpy, freaking mood. <laughs> okay, Brand. How's Chelsea feeling now? Still mourning. So nothing changed. Oh, grades are up. Okay, Tristan's a B student, Theo's a B student, Ellie and Dorian are A students, baby. Let's go, which means it's cooking a cake time because our cake went bad. So Chelsea, rise and shine. You got some children to celebrate. Oh, they're both really sad. We can't even invite their dad over to celebrate their birthday with them because their dad died. Wow, we are in death script. Speaking of death, has Chelsea tried to text him in a while? It seems like he still isn't that interested in hanging out with us, to be honest. Yeah, Grim Reaper and I are just like so-so friends. We're acquaintances. Maybe we should keep like texting. She's texting him while she's cooking up a cake. Like, what's up, Grim? Blow out some candles, my boy. It's your birthday, cause you're an A student. Oh, he aged up, okay. Pick a number one through 12. The answer is one. One, so he's in, gonna be an animal lover, boo. Pick a number between one and 41. It's 36. 41, 36, self-absorbed. That's our boy. Okay, I will say his hair didn't quite improve with age. It seems like he got a farther back hairline, but he's still quite handsome, I think. All right, Ellie, your turn. <laughs> Celebrate her, children. There you go, yeah, Ellie. Even mom's over here celebrating Ellie from afar. Happy birthday, my girl. Pick a number one through 12. That would be 12. 12, so she wants to be popular. Pick a number one through six. The answer is one. So she wants to be a friend of the world. Pick a number between one and 40. That would be 37. So she's jealous. So she wants to be a friend of the world. She wants to be popular. She can get a little jealous. That makes sense for a girl who's kind of interested in popularity. Oh! Space buns! She's so fashionable. Jeannie's very hungry. Feed her before she gets taken away. Oh my gosh. If anyone ever came to take away Ginny, I think I would riot. She's too cute. Oh, Craig called from beyond the grave to wish his son a happy birthday. What a stand-up gentleman. Oh, it's so cute and sad. How are you feeling? She's feeling okay. Why don't you go on a jog since you're sad? That worked last time to make her a little happier. There you go. She's feeling better better on her jog. Okay, homework's complete. Good job, Ellie. She needs a skill to level three, but she doesn't have any skills. I really wanted them to like learn a new skill. I've had anyone be like a painter before. Yeah, so I think it would be kind of fun to get like an easel and have like one of the kids kind of pick up painting. Uh, but then we want to maybe get another skill. I think the kids would probably like a uh, basketball hoops. Yeah, let's put a little basketball hoop. Chelsea seemed to like that too, so get that active family life going here. So yeah, you're gonna shoot some hoops. How's Chelsea? She's running, running, keeping that health up. Live forever, Chelsea. Never die. All the kids are sad in this universe. So much sadness in the Peachishme household. Oh wow, it's Harvest Fest, oh yay. More gnomes. He's feeling good, his fitness is going up, which is good. He's practicing his dribbling. Oh my goodness, she's very sad. Okay, why don't you do a little sad painting? What, $100? I forgot that it costs money to do paintings. Oh well, hopefully we'll get a return on that investment. How's she doing? Is she enjoying it? Ooh, it's pretty actually. Wow, is she like a natural talent here? Who knew? Oh my gosh, look at them. They're all descending on this. Wait, now there's like a dude with the cake. This one's a silly one. Those two are nude. This one's nude. Okay, you're, and he's winking. 
She's done. Did it make as much money as it cost? No, but it helped her get her skill up. So I guess it's worth it. Maybe you should write a uh, poetry, maybe poetry. What's her sad one now? Is that it? Oh, yowl, a complaint and rhyme. Um, love poems for lovely loving lovers in love. Is that really what you made? And you can make $100, so she didn't make any money off of it. I guess, large classic painting? She's feeling inspired, I think she likes it. She's level two, so she's gonna get that painting skill up pretty fast. She's made zero money off of it, but it's fine. Meanwhile, this boy, there you go. Why don't, are you feeling okay? You're feeling decent, why don't you go shoot some hoops? Why are either of you at school? Oh, it's at 8 a.m., but it's 12 p.m., huh? They skipped school and didn't tell me, which is cool. Their performance went down, amazing. They used to be good students. Well, I guess she'll just have to do some extra credit. And so will he. I am so annoyed that they skipped school and I didn't know about it. That is very sad looking painting. <laughs> Yay, Ellie's level three of painting. Good job, Ellie. That was so quick. You want attention and you're trying to wake up your brother. Seriously, how's Bran doing? Bran is hungry. Oh my gosh, Bran is so hungry. Grab a serving, Bran, I'm so sorry. Oh no. Okay, why don't you sleep? What is happening? Bran just passed out. Oh my gosh, so many things happening. This is her sad painting that's worth $126. Really? It's got like the arm from Facebook. I mean, that's fine. You know what? I'm proud of you. Bran, very angry and peachishme. This is our anger child, our new one. Aw, new anger child. All of everybody's Harvest Fest is awful. I regret nothing. Okay, everybody's off to school. Bye, kids. Study hard. A goofy outfit, a little vest, it's so cute. He's the cooler of the two twins. Tristan looks kinda cool. And I feel like Theo's a little bit of the dorkier twin, but I love it. I love the like little contrast. What do you wanna bet that Theo's in musical theater? Ah, uh, Willow's really miserable, but so close to finishing that potty, so we're gonna make Willow suffer. <laughs> Yeah, you did it. Good job. Now you can sleep and wait for your sister to catch up. She is getting close. So she just needs movement. Play brick block baby. Oh, you're done. All right, great. Now you just need to potty until you, you're done. So many age ups today. I love it. We love it. All right, I think Chelsea's feeling good, which means that she should invite over a special friend. We're gonna invite Chance over once she wakes up. Come on, let's get it on. Closer. Woohoo! Ginny is ready to be aged up. Let's pull out our cake. Chance Turner will be right over. Yay! Is he outside the door, he is. Ah! Oh my gosh, Chance. Chance Turner. All right, Willow, happy birthday. Oh my gosh, Bran is so angry. Why is Bran so angry? There he is, swaggering in like the hot man he is. All right, Willow, aged up. Pick a number between one and four. The answer is three. Three, so Willow's a motory kid. Pick a number between one and 30. It's 13. 13. Art lover, Oh, Willow's an art lover. Maybe another future artiste. Welcome to the family, Willow. Oh my goodness, so good. I have birthday candles again. Oh, the kids are back home from school. Oh my gosh, what happened? Are you an A student yet? You're not, you're just an excellent B student so she can't have kids with a guy yet. Oh, oh Ginny aged up. Pick a number between one and four. It's three. It's three, so again, another motor kid. The twins are both motor kids. Pick a number between one and 30. It's 13. 13, again? Okay, art lover. They're both the same. The twins are exact, have similar interests. Oh, Ginny, Ginny's so cute. Go to sleep properly. She's rocking a little short haired look, which we love. Why is Bran so mad? Oh, really needs to go to sleep. All right, Bran, go to bed. Oh, he is cleaning up for us. And he threw it on the floor. <laughs> Chelsea, why don't you jump in there and chat with him? Give him a hug and a heartfelt compliment. Our kid is having a temper tantrum. Just ignore him. Oh, he's taking a photo with her. He likes her. Oh my gosh, I'm not even telling him to do any of these things. They're just going to town. Chelsea, Chelsea and Chase. Envious. It's hard to see other couples together when you don't have anyone special. She's jealous of her mom kind of coupling up when she doesn't have a significant other right now. That's so interesting. Chelsea and her bae, her new bae are like hanging out in the bathroom in front of the dirty sink to have a, have a chat. I mean, that's fine. We don't have any toddlers now! <gasps> it's amazing. Actually, that's a lie, we have Bran. Awkward. 
Fran the angry forgotten child. First kiss, first kiss, Chelsea. Why is she telling him a secret from a different room? Wait, are they having their first kiss right now? They weren't even next to each other. Dang it, game. This made me very sad. Make out in a closet. He doesn't even seem to care. He's too busy in his chat rooms. Honestly, when I was in my chat rooms as a kid, I would do a similar thing. Oh, we just rushed through that. Share the spirit. Oh, she's feverish. Oh no, Chelsea. She's really laying it on thick with our guy, but she's really got a cold, so. We probably should take her to the doctor or at least get her some medicine, but I'm just interested in like how long this is gonna last. Is that bad? It's probably bad. Chelsea, go woohoo, have a good time. You deserve it, queen. Also, can we just like show some appreciation for that Chelsea through the process of having a lot of kids got thick and she's looking so good. She's rocking that those hit. Oh my gosh, is she gonna? Oh no, she's she's woohooing in the room with her children and they both saw. Oh no, he's going back in. He's going back in and he saw it again. Oh no. Why do you keep going in and out of the room, dude? Just stop, just stop. Oh gosh. Why are you in the room? Why are you in the room? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that was so embarrassing. Where did our guy go? Did you just leave? Wow, I can't believe our lovely little girl is all grown up and our boy totally traumatized by his mom. You know, you're not an impeach schmay if you don't walk in on your mom woohooing, apparently. <laughs> oh, Chelsea's going on a run again. She's really feeling it. It keeps her in a mental, better mental health place. She's fitness level four. Dang, Chelsea Doe. Fitness queen. Look at her running. Oh no. What do we have here? A very naughty girl. Chelsea's running back home just to discipline her children. It's like she knew from afar. She's like, oh, I sense this. Oh my gosh, one of my kids did extra credit without me asking. Amazing. That's when you know you raised them right, you know? Except for Ginny that just took it upon herself to make a huge mess. Why don't you do a little bit of writing? Ooh, a playful book. Sure, why not? Read a playful book, because you're feeling so playful, Chelsea. Artsy fartsy, it's a gas. So it'll be a romantic comedy about Freaky Thursday. And Freaky Thursday is a man and woman. This is actually also a K-drama, by the way. Switch bodies and fall in love. Whoa, Ginny again? Seriously? No, Ginny, discipline, firm. Oh my gosh, I forgot Chelsea's still sick. <laughs> okay, maybe I should just, okay, yeah, I'm gonna purchase medicine. I don't want her to get sick sick. Oh, she's so close to finishing Th Freaky Thursday. You might as well, my darling. She did it! Okay, she finished Freaky Thursday, so now she's going to sell it to a publisher. Oop, Freaky Thursday, and then she's gonna take a well-deserved nap. Oh, it's Saturday? Ugh. You mean we have to wait like another day for these kids to get out of my house so I can have babies? I think Ellie might want a day out. Let's take Ellie out on the town. Maybe Dorian will come too, but Dorian, honestly, you can't wear that outfit. Dorian change, Dorian, Dorian, good job. I don't exactly know why he's got this pouch on his uh, leg, but it's fine. Aw, she's like chatting with her little brother. Look, I can see him through the t table, okay. So let's uh, let's travel with Dorian, and our girl is gonna go have a fun adventure. Yay! Oh my goodness! So it's teens' day out. Teens are gonna go. Maybe they should go to like a little coffee shop. They could go to the pool. That could be fun. I don't think they've ever been. I've ever been to a pool before. All right. So the teens have gone in the fall to a pool. It's deserted. You know what, maybe they should go to the coffee shop after all. They were in their cold weather outfits and I'm like, they'd freeze to death. I'm a, such a bad mom sometimes. Okay, here we go. We're at the coffee shop. It looks like, yeah, there's like a little hangout back here that's for like a teen club, I think. They're gonna order some coffees, hang out, hopefully some teens friends show up. What, did Chelsea just, freaking Chelsea showed up it, without them inviting her and was like, one coffee please. And there, she should be like, mom, this is unfair. Yeah, she's gonna whine about her unfair life. Be like, mom, we wanted to go out and not hang out with you and you came out anyway for the coffee shop. I don't wanna watch you seduce any more people. Like, don't hang out with us. Meanwhile, they're all adults in here. Just a ton of adults. 
Are there no teens in this town? You know what, she's gonna try to attempt this secret knock. She wants to join a club. Oh wait, what if she just joined a club? Club cosplay? <gasps> Love dressing up like your favorite fictional character, not afraid of hanging out, how cute. So I think all the teens have aged up and they're not teens anymore. There's no wonder they can't have friends. Poor girl, she like wanted to go out on the town and have a fun time with other teens. Why don't she create a club? Open invitation. Teen club! And her brother's in it too. Well, I'll put requirements, age, teen. So then we'll see. <gasps> they do know some teens! Okay, that's a teen, that's a teen. These are all teens. Well, this squad looks great. Oh my gosh, you just have to be a teen. And the fun activities that the club does, they like get up, getting up to some, maybe some mischief. No, that's a little too much. So let's go, let's maybe just some social activities. They like being friendly and be a little mischievous. All right, teen club. Oh, we need, uh, I like this bear. He looks really mad. Teen club. Welcome, I'm now the president of teen club. Let's start a gathering. All right, let's bring all the teens to us. I am queen teen. Look at her, she's got a little crown on it. Freaking queen teen. Oh wait, it's our teen club club member. Whisper about her crush. Oh my gosh, does Ellie have a crush on one of the teen club members? Ellie, who you got a crush on, girl? Oh wait, more teen club members. Yay, introduce yourselves. Be chill, kids. Ellie's hanging out with another girl. Look at her, they've got matching jackets. Oh my gosh, meanwhile, Dorian is not talking to any teen club members. Boast about messing around. I feel like he'd do that. I feel like he'd be like, yeah, I've messed around with people. I'm an adult. Chelsea's like uncomfortable. Chelsea, just go home. Who's this girl? She's making some eyes on him. I think you really should get to know this girl. I think you might like her. Oh, they're flirting, aren't they? Oh my gosh, they're flirting. I mean, it wasn't really flirting, but it kind of was. Gossip maybe a little bit. Oh, he's getting really tired though. Oh no, are they both tired? No, Ellie is loving her life as queen teen. Look at her. She's like messing with this girl. Oh my gosh, did they just have a fight? Flick her nose, be like, whatever, man. I bet she didn't like it. Yeah, she did it. I feel like they're kind of frenemies. <laughs> She's getting a little nasty being like the teen queen, but she wants to be most popular, so this makes sense. All right, I think it's late, so it's 8 p.m. and mom would probably give her a curfew, so she should probably end this club gathering, but teen club was very successful and I'm very proud of you. There's only two boys in it and one of them's her, her brother, but you know. It's fine. Well, I think that's all that we have time for today. We didn't get any new babies or any new pregnancies, but we did age up a lot of kids and we got some kids to socialize, which is the first time I've ever done that. We'll definitely jump back on the train of babies next time, but it was fun getting out there in the world and doing something a little different this time around. See you next week for a very special edition of the 100 Baby Challenge. You'll just have to wait and see. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.